I imagine. Yeah. Classic first stage. Nav rocking nope. the Cheryl tag. Shoutouts. Yeah. No hand warmers. I almost feel like uh, at low percents, Marth just has to tech chase, like down throw tech chase. Yeah. It's not a whole lot of options. You can poke with down tilt, but like all his aerials are really bad, even if you basically tip them. Mm -hmm. Right. Good. Grab ledge. Roll up. Yeah. Forward smash. Rinse and repeat. Oh. Oh, that sucks. Oh. oh. There you go. I guess the tipper. Oh. I feel like that was kind of on Keista's part. He could have got that edge guard mm -hmm. back when he air, he air dodged. He was just a little more patient. Have you played Keista before? Uh, yeah, we used to play in Waterloo actually. Oh yeah. Quite a bit. How do you think he is at the Marth matchup? Uh, he definitely knows his basics. I yeah. wouldn't say like I don't think anyone's a master in our area, uh -huh. but uh, he definitely knows what he's doing. Because I think he actually played Marth for a little bit. He used to be a Marth. Oh main. really? Yeah. That's he's interesting. Dropping. Insider information. <laughs> yeah, hard to follow up off after. Definitely uh, putting himself in a good position, just keeping Sheik above him. Mm. Platform? Nice. nice in there, that was nice. Good read. It's a lot of spot dodge. Let's see if Nav can catch on to that. This is a tough situation. It's like, how does Marth get back on stage? Yeah. <laughs> Without get eating like a tilt. The trick I like to do is either just like a, oh no, definitely a mistake. Uh, I like just flicking off the ledge and uh, ooh, wave dashing uh, or wave landing right on the stage, like not moving anywhere. Yeah. Staying as close to the ledge as possible. When I was watching uh, Chris play uh, Rabbit, I was, I was thinking that like Marth's no impact land off the edge would be pretty good against Sheik. Yeah, that's true. Just like no impact land and then instant grab or something. Mm -hmm. It's surprisingly not that hard from ledge. It's a lot harder to like a no impact land on the platform. I right. Find. Yeah. Because it's uh, it's like you're hitting X or Y twice. Yeah. Versus just once. This should be a stock here. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice get up attack. Just in case. Probably gonna go to uh, Fountain, I imagine. You think you would pick Dreamland? Yeah, he'd only ban Dreamland. Well, this is best of five. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Nav hates this stage. <laughs> really? Yeah, he does not like. In this, this stage matchup, at all. I, I can definitely see it. But actually, against like even the as Fox, he doesn't like it. Really? Like, <laughs> he thinks it's dumb. <laughs> Which is, is, I'm kind of surprised he didn't switch to Fox, but I guess not. He like he doesn't usually switch between sets, or like in the middle of a set. Hmm. It kind of just shows a lack of confidence. I feel like it, that it may not always be that, but when you switch a character, like I always kind of, right. no, yeah. I feel good as a player if I play against someone. It's right. like, oh, and they can't they can't beat me with their main. They gotta be someone else. Yeah. The chances are they're not as good. But lots of fairs here. Nice. Oh. Oh. He definitely dropped that. Situation. Good job by Nav. Grab that ledge. 200% to DI that down. Yeah. Alright, a dash attack or a four tilt will put him in an edge guard situation. Not crouch canceling, not fair. That's unfortunate. Ooh, that's there we go. I want to see Nav holding away more in those situations just to like anticipate the forward tilt. Although I guess at this percent it's going to be like kind of like oh pick no. your poison. Oh, that's unfortunate. At least slapping it off. You know, that's that's the kind of mentality you got to have. Playing a game. Yeah. It happens. Cleans up that stock. He's still in it. We got side steps. Accidental forward throw, I think. He's just starting to get a little more comfortable. He's getting this those chains he, now. Yeah, this is where you get start putting it, getting put in that sheet grinder. Just like needle, needle, forward tilt, F, forward air, forward air. Oh, down air? Oh, oh, he turned around? That was sick. But uh, I feel like down air was definitely the better option. I feel like he could have got it. Oh, oh no. no, why is he going out there? Who does oh, he think he charity. is? He gave, oh, Kista gave it to him. Definitely had 
had that stock, and now he's gonna nice. lose it. Oh, good patience and shield. I like that. So small. Nice, nice movement. Uh, a little bit too uh, high on shield or something. Oh, early. It's too high percent for the get-up attack. Oh, nice air dodge. Nav's recovery, his play on the edge is like really amazing. Right yeah, now. he's been really tricky. He's stuck. Nice down tilt. Oh, he missed. Two hits at the end. Nice. nice. That's when you start pulling out the gimmicks. <laughs> High percent. Oh, oh. down it. Ah, uh, he just didn't get the fade yeah. back enough. He definitely had a hit stun. Like, it was so long. Oh, he'll take that trade, you know? Yeah. He's at high percent. It's good damage. He's got two stocks to play with. Nice. Oh, oh he missed it again. The European Ken combo would have been right. perfectly yeah. there. Like, I feel like there's a certain point where both will work, but. Yeah, right. I could see a salty. I wouldn't blame him for a salty. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think he had that game. I just think he made a lot of small mental errors that cost him stocks. Do you like Fountain as the, uh, Marth in this matchup? Uh, I like it more than Battlefield. Yeah? Really? Because yeah, I find Sheik's uh, with like the static platforms on Battlefield, she's able to just like run off platform and do those needle tricks. Versus right. yeah, uh, yeah, FOD, true. it's like it's trickier for her to do that. I mean, she still can, but it just kind of limits that option for her. So that's why I like it. And I remember Kirby Kaze saying that uh, Battlefield's Sheik's best stage by far. Mm. Yeah, I think I've heard people say that before. Yeah, nice. nice patient play there. Should oh, nice. He went to platform. Can't get a strong hit off that. Let's see if we can get back to ledge. Oh, oh that get up attack was definitely an error in that. Yeah, I think he got. It was one of those situations where you like accident or you like, push A to tilt or something, get hit. Yes. Should we follow up? Nice DI by Nav off that down. Gets caught on the ledge, but he makes it back. Ooh, he's he went just low. missing these edge guards. It's unfortunate. Nice up tilt. You can definitely do that to Sheik at low percent. Mm. But only low percent. This is a good combo. No jump. Oh, oh he, he went for it. No, you keep going. Ah, uh, a beat to the side of the stage. Unfortunate. Nav's really looking like he's got this match under control. I feel like he, in situations like that, he's just sort of like seeing at in advance what Keatsta wants to do, you know? Like, he knows in the edge guard situations what Keatsta's going for. No four stock? JV? 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 Zero JV? Is he gonna give him the zero to D's nuts right now? JV? Oh, perfect shoot grab. Oh, Aww, you <laughs> suck. <laughs> nice up smash. Forward tail, nice DI off the forward tail. Still got his jump though, shield drop. He misses shield drop. Nice facing. Nice get up off the edge there. That was yeah, and he buffered that roll too. Yeah. Oh, beautiful spacing. Nav is seeing the matrix right now. Oh, <laughs> uh, he missed the DI. Oh. I think he has a jump. Nice oh, needle. nice. He needs to jump. Catches him. Oh, is the air dodge. Alright, if she gets too off. Too high of a percent. Mars gonna have a tough time calming here. He's just eating too many hits, though. Yeah. It's that one percent, but oh, that's it. beautiful. I that he wait, he he saved that. You know, like every time he went to the edge, and the last time he goes for the back air. Pulled out that trick. That's like that high level shit. <laughs> nah, you're too good. 